Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to use GLSL to mix between multiple video inputs using a um, second selector. We can see here I have this input coming in and I can change the mix between these four videos based on whatever my input is. I've got me, hello, I've got these waves and I've got some noise here so we can see here if I shift that basically I can mix between the control of these videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the GLSL. We're going to build it from scratch. Delete that level as well. Put it back to me. And let's get started with a GLSL multi. I'm going to right click on the GLSL multi pixel shader and open that in the text port. Today I'm going to edit this in Touch Designer versus an external IDE. So we can see right now in the GLSL we have this VEC4 color which is outputting a white background. Let's delete that and change it to segment. Segment will be the term that we use for the, for the output. Um, just so it makes sense in terms of that segmented image. And let's go ahead and actually type that correctly. So now we can see we've switched it from that static color to taking that input texture, which we see here, from slot one. If I start plugging in these other videos, in this case I've got four, and Ultimately, we want to switch between these segments, so we're kind of going to update this segment uh, a little bit later. But let's just make some VEC4s, copy this, and we're going to call this in one. In two, in three, and four, two, three, four. So basically, here we're just outlining the input that these different textures are coming from. So if I select in four here, it's going to switch in two, in one, etc. So basically what we want to do is we want to populate our segment with all these um, different videos based on some kind of control. So I'm going to create one more input. I'm going to create another VEC4. I'm going to call it selector. And this will be what selects the segments. And copy that in, delete what we don't need. And this is going to come in to value 4. Let's put that there. So now we're all hooked up. So this is going to be our sort of tool to mix between these videos. So this is the setup to get those textures in. And in general, this is a pretty simple bit of GLSL where we're just going to create some conditions that allow us to switch between these videos. And we're going to use the selector to control those conditions. So I'm going to say if selector.r is smaller or equal to 0.25, segment equals in 1. If selector.r is bigger, we call it the 0.25 and selector.r is smaller than 0.5, segment equals in 2. So we're just setting up the logic here. I can just go ahead and copy that. So for this one, it's going to be 0.5 and 0.75 for in three. And for in four, it's going to be um, just bigger than 0.75. So just sorting out the logic there. And you could do this in a bit more of a succinct way, but this is um, just the easiest way for me to read, sort of doing a quick tutorial. Um, and then, we can switch to output our segment. And now we can see, if 
I bring that over there, that we're mixing between based on those, those values changing. We might just have a couple of videos. Um, if we want to stretch this out, so I'm going to do this to a top two so we can actually just see those values. I'm going to go into crop, full image, image, output as a single channel. So we can see here it's really scaled between zero and one and this matches with the thresholds that we've set. So basically we can play around now with controls on these videos. So things, for example, like a level. And this is basically going to shift the pixel values of various sections to mix in other videos. So if I play around this invert, it will switch things around a little bit. We can play around with the black level and the brightness. There's no exact sort of art to this. You can now just think of this tool as sort of like a pixel mixing threshold. Adding things like blur smooths out those edges a little bit. So if I really turn that blur up, you get like a more wonky edge. Putting in feedback could be kind of fun. Few frame issues, so I just turn the viewers off for all of these things. And then once you've got to this point where you can sort of play at that level, you can sort of start doing really interesting things where you mix between these videos in sort of neat little ways. Bring in a bit more of that texture there. I'm going to add in the blur to make it less harsh on the edges. It's maybe too soft. Um, but then you can get like some really interesting textures going on. You could also just drop in other videos. You could expand this to have more videos than just, just four. And yeah, have fun with this. It's a simple little bit of GLSL, but I think it's really effective and saves you from having to play around with lots and lots of different um, mixing layers. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.